Uh oh, Red here saw us poking around the workbench and I don't know if he likes it. Welcome everyone to Common Hood. First time playing this game and I'm very curious. I've skipped the intro a bit but over here we can see we have been evicted. We are in a factory at the moment and this factory our parents worked at and we are going to find a place to build a community. Next to that we get a few basic tutorials about movement and how to interact with the items. So I played the game for like an hour and then I started recording. So I know a bit at the start, but then it's basically going in blind. First things first, we're gonna scavenge for a lot of materials. As you can see, we can find all sorts of stuff, saw blades, fuses, glue, and of course the soil. And we are not the only ones here. We over here meet Ash. So talking to Ash actually gets down to the next thing. We are homeless, we are in a factory with more people and we can best make ourselves useful. And she tells us to place our tent somewhere so we have a place to sleep. So the main goal of this video is to show you guys what's what with this game and I don't want to bore you too much with all the resource gathering so I will do that now. During our run to the factory we see this gap and they call it the sinkhole. According to this guy, it is what made the entire factory collapse. So as you might have guessed, these gray areas with yellow lines are places we can build. And the last two characters we get to meet are Mo and Reth. They of course also have a personal story to tell and they have skills we can use as well eventually. At the moment though, it's just some casual chatting. And after meeting them, we are officially welcomed in the common hood. We are now members of the common. And we passed our first mission with this. We also learned that we can shovel these piles of debris. And as you can see, with every shovel, more resources come up. And after the first pile, it actually turns into a mission. So let's get all of these out of here. While cleaning up the mess, we are actually freeing quite a lot of building space here. And I'm curious what we can do with it. It is a nice place to maybe build some homes later on. I don't know. After completing the mission, we get our bonus. And this is some gratitude and a conversation and another mission. We need to make a planner machine. She also speaks of people on the other side of the sinkhole. Before we build the planner machine, we will gather a few more materials. These are upstairs and I haven't scouted that yet. As you can see, it is more of the same, but I found one interesting thing and that is a resistor. Next up is a chat with this guy. This guy is Alcott and he is basically the trader in the common hood. He trades stuff up on the flea market and everything we make he can sell for us. Basically, we sell it to him and he probably get an extra profit or something. I don't know what the deal is, but it is pretty good for us. At the moment, he gives us our first blueprint and this is to make a chair. However, when we place the blueprint, we want to build the said chair. We see we need four by four columns and that we don't have. Luckily, we have a table saw in our pocket next to a generator that can give us some power for it. We will place those down in the corner over here and this will give us an opportunity to make some wood or at least refine some wood because we need the four by four columns. To do this, it is pretty simple. You select what you want to build, then you load all and then you press the build button and you output four by fours. Then press collect all and you have it in your inventory. Mo here also has an assignment. He wants us to make some planters. And of course, we also get a blueprint for this. So let's put this one down over here and build it. To build, you just press and drag. However, before we can put the soil in, we got a notification. We are too tired. So let's place down our tent and go to sleep. This results in a summary of what we have achieved this day. And as you can see, we crafted some stuff, but we didn't do that much. Let's make the next day a little bit more productive. We're going to pick up where we left off and place this planter with some soil. Next to that, we still need to build a chair for Elcott. According to Mo here, our crafting skill is pretty good and I agree. Of course, this results in another mission and we can plant some potato seeds. We can put these in our planter and water them. So that is another mission done and selling the chair to Alcott should be another mission done. This actually took me a while to find because he has a buy and a sell page and I didn't saw the sell button at first. But after finding it, the deal was done in an instant. 
And another mission completed. Following up on the potato planner and potato planting, the character that gave us the mission, Mo, is actually joining us. He will be our next community member. And that actually opens up a lot of tutorials again, because every community member can have jobs. We can give them stuff to do and they can, well, perform actual things for us so we have to do less in our backpack there is the community tab and there we can see mo and mo has uh, the info uh, certain things he's good at like farming so if we look at the schedule we want him to do some farming in the first hours we don't have as many plants yet so next to the farming he can do some research as well as you can see we just have a small block of time it is the first four hours and we can unlock other hours when we gain trust. When you add a job, you can fill in with the options available. To actually do some research, we need to place down our research books or our research spot. And this is done by putting down dad's books. This is the perfect time to do it because A, then Mo can do research for us and B, we need to make a planner machine soon and we don't know how to build it yet. But after learning about it with machine manufacturing one, we will. In total, this is one hour of research and with spacebar, we can speed up time. We will also need basic electronics. We will leave the advanced electronics for Mo. If we then want to build said planner machine, we of course cannot use our table saw. What we do need is this generic workbench, but too bad it is broken and we need four things to fix it, namely the electronic tools, the soldering tools and some scrap metal. Uh oh, Red here saw us poking around the workbench and I don't know if he likes it. But apparently said workbench is for sharing and we can all use it so we can use it to make our planner machine after we fix it. And of course that is another mission. Our trader Alcott seems to have the tools we need for this and this is a soldering device. As you can see by using the tools and sliding them in the right slot we repair the workbench. And with the workbench fixed, we can see what kinds of things we can make with it. One of them is the planner machine Ash has told us to make. For this planner machine, we need materials we have never used before, which are metal plates and electric wires and some sprockets, gears. We have already done a lot of scavenging and most materials we can make on this workbench as well. So we first gonna make some metal plates out of scrap metal, then some gears. And after that, we're gonna make the electric wire. Be back in a second. And there it is, the planner machine. In the meanwhile, we also got a mission from Red to make some electric motors. We need to make three of them and place them in our community storage. And this is exactly what we're going to do. The planner machine we are going to place right here because by making it we got another mission and we need to make some flooring plates. For this we need some panels and the panels are made with the planner machine. For this mission we need to make in total six flooring panels. We don't really have time for that because it's six to nine. So let's finish the mission with the electric motors and go to sleep. Curious to see by the way if Mo will do the research tomorrow. But first we get another mission from Red and that is to fix the crane in the back. And with this crane we could make huge things and place them somewhere else. And I'm very curious at what he is hinting at of course. However, first thing first and we are gonna make some floor panels. We are following the same procedure as the planter and the chair. We have placed down our blueprint. We are gonna fill it in with the materials we need and then we're gonna finish the first and then I'll skip ahead and we have made all six of them. And according to Ash, these platforms are the foundation of a better home. And yes, that is an important thing. It is that important that Ash will actually join us and we have another community member. So it seems Ash is quite the builder and let's give her some building jobs. Next time she can produce for us and she can make blueprints that we turn into jobs. If we actually want her to produce stuff for us, we must not forget to put some materials in the common storage. So let's do that straight away. We'll put some raw lumber and some raw panels in there. With this, she can make some 4x4s and some panels. So talking to Alcott over here, we get to know that he suddenly has plans for bridge parts or sections of a bridge sections of a bridge together that could make a big bridge 
a large bridge and then we need to somehow move this large bridge and that is where Red's plan for the crane comes in because with the crane we can move large objects and we'll get a large bridge okay who can guess where this is going so to actually repair the bridge we need several items such as an electric motor some microchips and some electric wires the microchip we do not have just yet and we need to make it at our workbench for this we need wires a fuse a resistor and two capacitors and i searched my ass off for these i couldn't find it anywhere until i looked higher up i won't spoil too much but that is your hint with the materials all in our backpack fixing the crane is easy and after we fix it we get the controls for the crane we can move it back and forth up and down and i guess pick stuff up so let's get stuff to get picked up and coincidentally that is our next mission we need to cross the sinkhole and we have plans for bridge parts so let's use them we also have another character joining us which is red and we're gonna give him some jobs as well obviously his first tasks are cleaning debris speaking of jobs we also have ash for building and let's give her something to build we're gonna place two planters over here and for this task we will place some 4x4s and some soil in our community storage and for our other community member mo we are going to put in a new research project because he finished the other one and let's do some woodworking details yeah why not and then it is our bedtime again it is nine o'clock and i hope you enjoyed this episode and do you want to see if we can cross the sinkhole let's wait for next episode until this time thank you for watching if you want to watch more subscribe get notified by ticking the bell and let me know in the comments what do you want to see thank you for joining us bye